What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and I'm here to give you my honest opinion about the new mobile G3 Plus. It's all over YouTube, but is it really worth it? What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And today I'm here to talk to y'all about the G3 Plus from New Mobile. Um, a device New Mobile sent out. I like to thank them for that. And I'm also thanking for all the love that they've been showing YouTubers. I've been seeing this phone all across YouTube. And that's a good sign that they're confident in their product. Letting people put their hands on it and see what it's about. And putting out real reviews like this. Um, you know, honest, unswayed youtubers putting out content about your device that lets you know that they feel like um the results will be good so they're confident in their device um so just to start off really man i really like this device and i really like this price point um this device is 229 dollars on amazon it's the g3 plus and they also have the g3 which is 199 dollars only difference is this phone has 4,000 milliamps of uh 4,000 milliamp battery, 3,000 milliamp battery. And I never had a problem with battery life on this device. Um, it had good battery life. And this is just a battery life beast, actually. Um, so we'll just start right there. The battery life is a beast. Um, 4,000 milliamps in the 720 display, you know it's going to be beasty. Also, so that just lets you know, boom, battery life. Display. I love this display. Um, for it to be a 720 display. I've never liked the 720p display. I've had plenty of budget phones with 720p displays and I did not like them. Um, it, they turned me off and I, you know, if I didn't like this display, I want to sit here and tell you that I do like it. It has a saturated look to it. it almost the, everything about this phone is baby Samsung to me. It's a very saturated, very, uh, colorful display. And, um, my eyes are spoiled by Note 9s and S9s and iPhone XS Maxes, and I really like this display. Um, I'm not a guy that doesn't have, you know, some of the, I got, I buy top tier phones, and for me to go to a budget phone that's $230 and still really like the display, it says something. Um, it just is a real rich, real colorful display. Those are the type of displays that I prefer. That's my personal preference. So boom, that's another one, display. Now, what you really have to look at, take a look at this phone and look at, is the build. This is a beautiful device. Um, the straight up, the, the lines that go straight up and down kind of remind me of the lines that are on the uh, on the View 20, except for they look like uh, arrows pointing down or up or whatever direction they point in. But this is a really sexy display. Reminds me of an S9 with a dual camera setup. Perfect placement for the uh, fingerprint scanner. As you can see, we got some new branding on the back. Um, really like this back. It's black, but it's got like a gunmetal gray look to it. Very nice finish. Um, now, if you look at the bottom, this is a budget phone that is type C. And um, I'm really feeling that. I'm really feeling the fact that this device has a type C port on it and you have your speakers at the bottom. Um, I had budget phones with, or I had budget phones with micro USB and I'm not feeling them like that. I don't like micro USB is dated. So this phone is future proof. It's got a nice aluminum uh, frame, very sexy back, um, very nice display, black bezels. So it's just a really good looking display. Um, actually, also, now let's get into this. It has face recognition. Um, at this price point, that is crazy. Face recognition at a 200 and, well, let's say $200 if you opt out for the G3 or $230, under $250 price point. And I'm gonna test the face recognition right now. Hit the device, boom, unlock. Um, as simple as that, really, um, you get in facial recognition, you get in, and also a phone that can take some decent pictures. And it, since it has the dual camera setup, it can take portrait mode 
uh, pictures that are decent out from the rear camera. The rear cameras do do a camera system. You can take a nice portrait mode picture, um, and the front facing camera. You can take a you can take a decent selfie, but my advice would be to cut the flash off because it likes to use that flash, and all that flash does is over uh, expose your face. But um, yeah, man, at two hundred and thirty dollars to well, at, I mean, at two hundred and twenty nine dollars, everything on this phone is a go. If you're a consumer that's looking for a first Android phone for your kid, or a second one, or an Android phone for any kid, or somebody that's looking for a device that doesn't want to spend big bucks but wants something decent they can utilize, I've never had problems with this phone. Next thing, performance. Um, I've never this phone doesn't lag. I've never had any problems with it. I actually game with it. Play some CSR2 on this device. Um, I was amazed by that. I played it for about 30 minutes. The phone did drop some frames, um, but that's to be expected. The phone did drop a couple frames um, when the drag race starts and the cars pull off from the line. But other than that, um, that I played it for 30 minutes. The phone did get warm, but even Android uh, flagships that you pay eight nine hundred dollars for can tend to get warm when gaming. But yeah, man. Overall, this is just a great device. Um, I really like this device. It's a really good looking device. Um, for two for two hundred thirty dollars. I mean, you can't beat it. You getting. For two hundred thirty dollars, you're getting good performance, a good screen, good camera, Type C, USB. You get a case in the box with the device. You're getting a nice build. When I pull this phone out, it doesn't look like a El Cheapo. It doesn't look like a prepaid. You know, of course, if somebody see new, they're gonna say, "Well, I'm not exactly sure what new is." But I want new to stay at this price point and creep keep creating these devices because it's really important uh devices like this put big phone companies in check because trust and believe if i and another thing they need to put these devices on cdma they need to get them working on verizon and stuff like that if you could do that a lot of people would be going on amazon ordering these devices instead of going to the carrier store signing another contract spending two uh, uh, spending a thousand dollars, spending eight hundred dollars, spending seven hundred dollars when you can spend two hundred dollars on Amazon. But yeah, man, really impressed with this device. And that's just the real for you consumers looking for an Android device and or possibly a budget device. This is the best budget device you can spend your money on right now. Um, it's your man BG Tech Life. Appreciate you uh, watching the video. If you liked it, you found it informative, go ahead and hit like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, BG Tech Life. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man, BG. This is my new mobile G3 Plus. I'm out.